two days a week, but I have it online. I mean, I get it. And so this is you know, morning coffee. No, oh, yeah, I know. That's, I do the same thing. Call meeting order. I'll oh, please rise. Yes, you join me in a moment of reflection on the business that's before us this evening. <coughs> Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge of allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Clerk, please take the roll. Alderman Vasso. Here. Alderman Violet. Here. Alderman Clifford. Here. Alderman Fulkerson. Present. Alderman Key. Here. Alderman Kramarski. Here. Alderman McGovern. Alderman McGrogan. Mayor, City Clerk, and Treasurer. All, All right. Fine. Right. Thank you. No special presentations tonight. Uh, under consent calendar, we have two items. The approval of City Council me meeting uh, on September 4th, 2018, and the approval and payroll voucher list for the period ending September 14th, 2018. Is that? I'll entertain a motion second. to approve the consent calendar. Oh. Move out and focus. I mean, Alderman Kamarski, second by Alderman Clifford. Discussion? Roll call. Alderman Basso. Aye. Alderman Violet. Yes. Alderman Clifford. Aye. Alderman Fulkerson. Yes. Alderman Key. Yes. Alderman Kramarski. Yes. I'm curious. All right. Uh, under my remarks, just uh, remind everyone school has started. Uh, school Thanks. zones are in effect. Uh, there's also a, uh, if you're on a cell phone in a uh, school zone, it's a uh, double uh, violation there. So please keep in mind, uh, driving distracted through in a school zone is something we obviously don't want to see. And uh, got to watch out for those kids as they go to school. Uh, with that, uh, look for a motion to approve the appointment of Susan Jankowski to the Library Board of Trustees to fill a vacancy of a three-year term exper exper expiring, expiring May 24th, 2021. So moved. Moved by Alderman Keith. Second, Second by Alderman uh, uh, Kamarski. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. City Clerk, anything? No. Nope. City Treasurer. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. This is the Treasurer's report for the period ending August 31st. The general fund started with a beginning cash balance of $4,308,120.23, revenues of $1,350,227.60, expenses $1,241,878.45, other source use $8,670.12 leaving an ending cash balance in the general fund of $4,425,139.50. Total of all funds had a beginning balance of $17,080,763.12, revenues of $2,453,675.02, expenses totaling $2,493,000. $606.94. Other source use, negative $3,656.67. Total of all funds, $17,037,174.53. That concludes my report, Mr. Mayor. Entertain a motion to retreat. So moved. Well, second. second by Alderman Violet. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. <coughs> City Attorney is out of town. Any communication anyone have tonight? Yes, Alderman well, Kamarski. I am asking the residents to keep Carl Malinowski in their thoughts and prayers for a full and speedy recovery. Carl is the iron worker that was buried in the explosion and roof collapse at the MWRD facility. Carl is the son of Betty Malinowski, a third ward resident. Carl is in rehab, and we do wish him a speedy recovery. And that's all I have. All right. That's unfortunate. Yes, thank you. Any other communication anyone have tonight? All right. Citizens wishing to address the council. Seeing none. Uh, standing committees. Alderman Fulkerson, finance. No report, Mr. Mayor. Alderman McGovern is not here. Is there anything for public safety? Anyone aware? No. no? no. All right. Uh, municipal grounds and property. Alderman Basso. I have no items on the agenda, Mayor. All right. Thank you, sir. Planning and zoning. Alderman Clifford. Uh, we had no meeting this month, Mr. Mayor. There's right. no, uh, uh, nothing uh, that came up or coming up. In All right. Thank you, sir. Recreation, Alderman Key. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd like to make a motion to approve the performance me measurement report for the Palos Heights Parks and Recreation Department prepared by uh, Recreation Results. Move by Alderman Key. Is second. Sec second by Alderman Violet. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. 
And then I'd like to make a motion to approve a facility rental fee waiver request submitted by the Palos Heights Garden Club for their monthly meetings. Move on. Second. Move by Alderman Key and second by Alderman Violet. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. And then um, on um, the weekend, we had the um, Lake Catherine hosted the, the 25th anniversary of the uh, Monarch Butterfly Fest. It was a beautiful day, sunshiny and, and warm. It seemed like they had more vendors this year, but there, there were lots and lots of people there. It seemed like a very um, well attended, and everyone was happy to, to see um, everything that was going on. Um, they had animals and, and, and vendors and, and food and everything. And then um, just uh, something that's happening in a few weeks. Um, normally the first week in October is the pet parade that's normally at Pastor Light Park, but this year they're revamping that event. And so it's gonna happen at the rec center. It's being renamed Dogtoberfest. There's gonna be music and vendors and inflatables for kids. There is gonna be a pet costume contest and a pet parade also but it's, they're just relocating it and kind of expanding the, the day. So um, bigger and better, I guess, that would be. And that concludes my report, Mr. Mayor. All right. Thanks, Alderman Key. Roads to Construction, Alderman Kamarski. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Move to approve the second payout to Lindahl Brothers Incorporated for work completed on the 2018 road program in the amount of $110,266.91. Second. Alderman Kamarski, second by Alderman Clifford. Any discussion? Roll call. Alderman Basso. Aye. Alderman Key. Yes. Alderman Violet. Yes. Alderman Clifford. Aye. Alderman Fulkerson. Yes. Alderman Kramarski. Yes. Move to award the 2018 General Maintenance Road Program or the Supplemental Road Program to the low bidder Lindahl Brothers in the amount of $152,293.79. Moved by Alderman Kramarski. Is there a second? Second. Second by Alderman Basso. Any discussion? Uh, there's no MFT funds being used in this no. one this year, right? This no, is just you're strictly correct. in house. Yes. Okay. Any other questions? Roll call. Alderman Violet. Yes. Alderman Fulkerson. Yes. Alderman Basso. Aye. Alderman Clifford. Aye. Alderman Key. Yes. Alderman Kramarski. Yes. Move to approve resolution number R11 18, appropriating funds in the amount of 27000 $664, which is the city share of 20% of the phase two engineering for the 123rd Street reconstruction project. Moved by Alderman Kamarski. Is there a second? Second. Second by Alderman Basso. Any discussion? Roll call. Alderman Violet. Yes. Alderman Kramarski. Yes. Alderman Basso. Yes. Alderman Fulkerson. Yes. Alderman Key. Yes. Alderman Clifford. Aye. <coughs> Move to approve resolution number R1218 to enter into an agreement with Morris Engineering to complete the phase two engineering for the 123rd Street reconstruction project. Moved by Alderman Kamarski, is there a second? Second. Second by Alderman Basso. Discussion? All in favor? Do a roll call on it. Alderman Basso. Aye. Alderman Key. Yes. Alderman Violet. Yes. Alderman Clifford. Aye. Alderman Fulkerson. Yes. Alderman Kramarski. Yes. And that's the end of my report. Thank you, Alderman Kamarski. Thank you. License permits and franchise. Alderman McGrogan is under the weather. No report. There's no, there's no report. Okay. Alderman Violet, water and sewer? I have no report this morning. All right. Thank you, sir. Uh, business and economic development. Alderman Key? Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, first of all, uh, the regular farmer's market that takes place in the municipal lot every Wednesday uh, runs through October 10th, so we still have a few weeks left of that. So let's take advantage of um, all the vendors that come there on Wednesdays. And... Providence Bank is now open, and um, the, I know the ribbon cut, cutting is actually coming up on the, I think it's the 25th, but when, when they were asking for um, a zoning variance to, to go in there, they, they talked about um, how they give a portion of their profits back to the community, and I just want to share with you that they've, already, they've donated $700 towards the Chris Kringle market um, so that we can have an activity going on there. And that came from them already. So they're, they're already keeping their promise on that. And it's very much appreciated and to them as they open. Very good. That's and that concludes my report, yeah, Mr. The Mayor. The grand opening is Tuesday, I believe, with ribbon cutting. Okay. This coming Tuesday. Okay. So. Uh, one thing on that. Sure. Uh, the landscaping they did up there, it's very nice. Mm -hmm. Everybody should take a look. It's one of the better landscaping jobs I've seen done on a business. Very extensive, right. nice plannings. Really uh, augments the area right up there. Super, yeah. Thanks, Alderman. Appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Uh, we got your uh, ad hoc.
Cable. Well, Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, for those of you who are or have watched uh, Channel 4 streaming live, unfortunately, uh, because the previous provider of the city's website ended that service effective today, September 18th, it will no longer uh, be available. Channel 4 is in the process of uh, seeking a source of new, uh, for a new streaming platform with consistent service and current technology that will uh, support our audio and video requirements. So hopefully it will be soon and we will be back to streaming, but for the time being, that's no longer a service we are able to provide. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. That concludes my report. All right, thank you. Any old business tonight? Citizens wishing to ask any questions? Uh, new business? Uh, just a, sure. a thing for Jerry when we were talking. Again, I'll reiterate, you've probably seen signs around lock it or lose it. Well, there's a rash of things going on, and that's a, for an informational thing to make sure that you don't take anything for granted and to lock your car secure, take your valuables out of the car when you go in and your door. Also, uh, there's some phone calls coming around. I got a couple on them, and they use local numbers. So some of them are your neighbor's numbers. You look at it. It's three six one four four eight. It's you know, the, but they're, they're, they're all, using, my, using my number last week. And too, so. mm -hmm. I, the one called me five times, and I called back, and the guy, I said, "You called me. What can I do for you?" And he says, "No, I didn't." I said, "Well, I think your uh, phone number was hacked." He goes, "Yes, yes, it was." And they're they're using these to get through to you. Sometimes they'll answer the phone. Sometimes they won't. But you know, and they try to get you to say yes or certain words. So pay no mind to it. If you're getting them deluge with them there's a lot of it out there yeah last night i got one from southwest central dispatch and i'm on the board i figured somebody calling about something from the dispatch center and I, as i answered the phone it turned, <coughs> out, it turned out to be a duct cleaning service trying to sell me a uh, duct cleaning service in my house so. yeah yeah a duct Dark cleaning yeah, that's one of them and the other thing is is that if they do and you do happen to talk to them our local places like fire and police, they don't ask you for donations. They don't call you and ask you for money. And, and you know, and or your grandchild's locked up. Don't fall for it. If they ask you for anything, just don't give it to them and just hang up. And that's it. Unfortunately, you're going to get blasted with these calls. Isn't there a name for that? Where they they call using a local yeah, there's, it's um, something like that. Something, something. <laughs> it's almost like. All of my photos say they're streaming the calls through internet sources. <laughs> yes. uh, a couple of things you'll get, uh, just say Chase Bank or Yahoo. It'll say your if your account's expired if you don't do this, blah, 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 blah. But if you click up on top from the sender, and then you'll see the sub address there that it comes from J so and so at Xavier S D U E D U. So they're bringing it through a, you know an right. educational site to to try to get you to click on or, or do something. Right. So be cautious, right? Yeah. Right. Thank you, Alderman. Appreciate it. Any new business? Entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you.